Oh shit! Give me that. I'm so glad I did not fall. That damn bird. Damn it! You fucking... Yo, the crow is stuck. Is it? Not anymore.
Oh. There was supposed to be sound there, and there wasn't. Oh wow. Fuck, man. Thank you. 
approach. It's so big and, and beautiful. You are beautiful. Oh, I must not forget. If you find my mum, you'd have this movie song. It plays in the daddy's favourite song. And when daddy forgets it, we play it for him so he remembers. So I do believe in my other save, I found this girl's mom, but I didn't realize it was her mom until after I found the item that was on the character, which was linked to another character that we'll actually meet later inside of the game. Um... It's quite interesting too. I want to see what the item says. Small music box received from a young Yarnum girl plays a song shared by her mother and her father. Inside the lid is a small scrap of paper, perhaps an old message. Two names can be made out, however faintly. Viola and Gascoigne. Yeah, it didn't do anything else other than that. But, might run into the parents a lot sooner than later. Yeah, this is definitely one of those games where you gotta go back and play it twice. In order to grasp the full story of everything. Oh my, what? Well, okay, hold on, hold on, pal. Hold on, pal. You got some friends coming. Dang. 
damn. What? What are you talking about? Not yet. What the hell are they talking about? said the unseen village lies ahead but that first of all major spoiler for anybody who cares unseen village is a, a level you reach later on in the game that you can only access by being defeated by one of the enemies and being taken there unless there's another way to get there early in the game but Oh my goodness, <laughs> my character's all glitched out, all this muck. Let's do this.
What? It's still living. Damn, come- Oh, fuck that. How do you reach so far? Shit. Second boss is right here. I will be highly, su highly surprised if we dick this in one go. But I really, at our current level, I don't expect to. Not this early in the game. I mean, I know I've been playing for a minute, but this one's not nothing to dick around with. We'll just have to see. And I'm going to try something to see if my theory is correct about this autumn girl and her mother and father. Unfortunate. Uh, I was about to say, <laughs> what? Oh shit, hold on. Can my character press the button? Get him, get him, get him! That's it. That's it. That's how you work. Just gotta watch him. Oh, it is! Yo! I mean, he, he's in his dialogue, but it affected him. It affects him. That's crazy. So he's, Gascoigne is the little girl's dad. 
Oh shit, he didn't he didn't like that. He didn't like that. He really didn't like it. Okay, here it is. His final phase. Holy shit. It's about to get nuts. Like I said, I would be surprised if he get this in one go. Get him! Fuck! Oh, what's up? Holy shit! That's crazy, the music box affects him. I need to stop focusing on that before he fucks me. Come on. Come on. Fuck! Beanie Beanie, I'm, I'm concentrating. This nigga almost did a goddamn combo on me. I'm trying. I'm trying. He is fucking me through the fucking stones. Trying to get these visuals. <laughs> I know, I know you're pissed. He didn't like his daughter being mentioned. God damn, if he didn't knock me back! Come on. Come on. Oh shit. No! Oh, that's game. That's game. Yo, that's about to be game. This about to be fucking game. Hold on. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. He's following me. That's game. That's game. I didn't I didn't expect to get that on the first try. I could have, but I did not have uh fucking Yasefka's blood uh vial. I didn't have that shit equipped. God damn it. God damn it. That's my fault for not having that equipped. Did I already? I think I already used it. What? I already used that shit. What well, is GG on that? 
I just need uh Let's do this. Let's do it like this. We'll wreck them. We just gotta do it the right way. Still hunting me. got him in the first try that was I was almost nice that would have been nice but I, I knew it wasn't gonna happen <laughs> we have not been playing this game long enough we've been playing this game we've been getting practice at it but not 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 long enough I just got to work on timing of attacks and visceral attacks and we'll be good that that fucking click Gas going, you gotta wait, buddy. Wait till I find my stuff. Where where is where's my stuff? Uh-uh, we gonna find my vi my my echoes. There they are. Alright. Now you do that while I do this. I mean, nah, nah, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Anime analysts in the chat, what's happening, man? Just over here playing some Bloodborne. Trying to hunt down Gascon right now, but we got to do it the right way. Got to make sure we do this the right way. Welcome home, good Hawadi. Very well, then. Hold on. So I had, let's go strength that. And I'll need to find some shit. Well, give me a second. Farewell, good hunter. Oh, I'll be back. Ooh, wait right there. Let's throw that up, that up, that discovery up. One of your favorite games? Hey man, I can see why. I I could I could really see why. I might have to throw that in, throw this in my list of favorite games. I really like this game. I like this game, and I like the world that it's put, being placed in. 
is is really something about it. I even had to get the old Hunters DLC. I I just I didn't feel right having this game and then not having the full experience. So I'll be riding on this for a minute and posting content on the channel. Blood tinge is important, and that should be. Strength only put up physical defense. It didn't really do anything with attack. It does something with attack. Brutality, physical defense. So let's throw up skill. Blood tank is pretty much either. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Farewell, good. May you find your worth in the waking world. Yeah, let's do it while they're cheap. And then let's ride up, my lady. <laughs> Talking about that platinum achievement? That's what I'm shooting for. I'm trying to I'm trying to find everything in the game. Get all the items, find all the lore. Now hopefully I can do that. If you thought yeah, if you're talking about the platinum achievements then yeah, we'll have to see. Hold on, let me let me check that. What are achievements looking like? It look like we 13%? We got a long fucking way to go. Well, four, 15 now. Yeah, most of them are hidden. All oh, hunter weapons, special hunter tools. Yeah, we should be able to do this with my other save. Right now, this is just a save for the main channel. But on my other save, we're working towards that. But with the way the game trying to toss everything around, that's gonna be that's gonna be a battle. That forbidden force wasn't nothing to fuck with. Once you beat the game, I got a video recommendation for the lore. Oh, for real? Well, uh, post it. Can you? You should be able to post the link in the chat. And I'll have, I'll check it out later. I'll post it in my watch later. And then when I beat the game, I'll check it out. Because that's one thing I, I do want to get into is the lore of this game. Because that's what I've been trying to figure out. But if you can't post it in the chat, then uh, send it to my Twitter. And I'll, I'll put it in my watch later. Because I would appreciate that. Because the world behind this game is, is, is fucking amazing is what it is. Alright, bet. I appreciate that. I'm going I'm to check that out. Is this like, is this the, uh, is this the fan theory lore or is it the actual, like, it's confirmed lore of the game?
is based on the different items that tell the story in the game. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's what I want to see then. Because I, I've, I've been reading the, 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 the description on different items and things inside of the game and trying to piece together what I may think is going on, but that will help a lot. So we're going to run around the block not too far one time in hope of acquiring Quicksilver and some Blood Vials. And once we do that, we're going to see if we can get Gascoigne in one go. Yeah, my other save, that's one thing I noticed in this area around Central Yarnum is definitely where you can farm a lot of Quicksilver and Blood Vials. Pretty much the first area of the game. This fool. I still gotta work on my visuals for this man. The timing is no joke. Look at that, already. There it is. He's still going, okay. So the strength is definitely up. We're doing more damage to the enemies.
Whoa. Damn, he popped me before I can get a chance. Do I have... Uh, I got one left. Shit. You know what? Let me set. Hold on, hold on now. Hold on now. Oh, fuck. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> there we go. That was enough. You're still going? That was almost dangerous.
shit. Damn, boy. Oh, you hella dicked that up, cause now, now the other guy's after. Well, you got reach. Alright, after this area, we should be all set. After these three dudes, Gascoigne should be in the bag. You son of a bitch! How did you hit from over there? Right there. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Gas going round. What? <laughs> Gas going round two. Whatever the hell my character's doing. Yo, that still blows me that the, the music box actually works as, as kind of a stun grenade for him. It's almost like it's uh, his daughter calling back to his conscience. Alright, here we go. Gas going. Round two, where you at? I come through the door and you start blasting. But that's cool. We're gonna ride. We're gonna ride. I got this music box for when I run out of these uh these bullets. Shit, shit, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, pal. Hold on. Not yet. In the fuck? There we go. Come on.
Let's ride. It's cool. Stay there. Let's ride. Come on, transform. Do it. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. It's getting nasty. Play that. Shit, son. Move. Okay, it gave me enough time to, uh... He's pissed about that. Come on. Shit. Let's ride. Hit that up. One more, baby. One more. What's up, Gascoin? Shot that ass. Where you at? Strut on him. Hit that. That's what I like to see. I told y'all. Just one more time, we had it. Nice. I like that. Go on, go on. Oh, we don't have the hand clap. God damn it. This ain't my other one. Shit, we'll just we'll, we'll shake the cape off one more time. Damn, Gascoigne. Let me light this, and then we're supposed to find the red roach. Now, I'm going to take it back to the kid before we do anything else, and I'm going to see what it says. That's crazy. That really blows me. That, that, that's, that's interesting that they do that with the story, too. That makes me wonder if there's any other bosses that have uh, certain items that affect them based on the lore inside of the game. Because as far as aesthetics and battle go, that's, that's one of the coolest aspects. His humanity is fighting his beasthood because of his child's tinker box. Let's see if we can find that item. Yo, that training on the other, other file, that, that shit helps. I promise y'all, man, any of y'all want to like, any of y'all on the channel that, that wants to play this game and wants to advance, visceral attacks are your best friend. They will get you hella far. You, you pretty much can't do anything else without them. If you don't know how to work on them, you better find an alternative method. There it is. Damn, so that makes me wonder. I mean, can't put, you gotta put two and two together. It looks like Gascoigne did it to his wife. Tore up. I'm gonna go take it back to this girl and see what she say. Uh, we'll fast travel there. I don't feel like dealing with all those people. Yeah, I, I, the hunter's mark. I found no use for that. I don't. I wouldn't. It still hasn't clicked to me why you want to sacrifice all of your uh, echoes to return back to the the last lamp you lit.
this is the wrong area, but what's the fastest way I can get there? Fastest way. Actually, the fastest way I can get, here, get there is through the town. I would really have to battle all these mooks again. Buddy, for real? Ah, oh, shit. I'm digging up. Wolves still hit hard. They still hit hard. <laughs> Buddy, <laughs> I didn't come all this way just for you to dick me after whooping Gascoigne. Not supposed to be right there. <laughs> oh man. Was that the one at the door too? It straight up was. What the fuck were you doing there? Anyway. Hello, Miss Hunter. It was caught by my mom. No, nah, I found it. And that's it. So the little kid that was in this window belonged to Gascoigne and the chick that was on the roof. That's crazy. And the chick that was on the roof was married to Gascoigne, but Gascoigne succumbed to the scourge. He was a he was a hunter of the black ch black church because you were supposed to uh, for the, spoiler alert for those that haven't played this you're supposed to be able to get his garbs. Um, through the use of insight in a hunter's dream and he was a hunter of the black church so you know, not only was he a hunter he had a family in Yarnum but what's, what's also crazy about that is I got a completely different scenario on my other save and because my other save was like my fresh playthrough that, that's like my fresh playthrough I never played the game before then and so like I came through this area trying to figure shit out I didn't know I didn't even get to this kid until after I beat Gascoigne I didn't I didn't do any of this until after I beat him so I was looking for the mom I had already used the red uh, the brooch because it gives you an item to where's that thing at where is it at? oh no no I gave it all 
you don't even get it back. That's crazy. So, uh, it kind of also has a thing in this game where, like, some of your actions, like, affect how you view the story. Because in the other one, if you, you, if you look at the description for the red brooch, the item I just gave the kid, you can use it to turn it into a, uh, what, what is it, what the, the thing's called? You can turn it into a bloodstone chunk. Uh, no, not a bloodstone chunk, um... You can turn it into something that's used for a chalice ritual, which uh, for those that don't know, chalice rituals um, open up like a secret area in the game where you can go and you can find treasures and more blood echoes to level up and things like that. And so I used it. I didn't know that belonged to this little kid. So when I came to this little kid trying to find the mom and dad, I wasn't aware that Gascoigne was the father. And so I had already used it, but I came back to this kid and this kid was like crying like, mom, come home, it's not fair. Like, obviously the kid was aware that something had happened to the parents. And then when I came back another time, there was just no response. The lights was off and everything. That was just the end of that story. And I didn't realize until this playthrough that I wasn't supposed to use that item. Holy fuck. That's crazy. This is going to be an interesting game. This is going to be an interesting game because I bet you there's a bunch of stuff that I did in my other save that I didn't get a check that uh, I did in this one <laughs> that I wasn't supposed to do in the other one. Wow. I mean, we just got to keep it rolling, I guess. Shit. Yeah, we'll we'll keep it rolling. For sure. Let's let's do that. No, no, hell no, I don't wanna go that way. <laughs> An ambush. Ambu actually. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. It's quicker. That that is nuts. <laughs> that is nuts. It's two different experiences. On two different playthroughs. Oh, shortcut. Yeah. So I'm assuming either the kid in my in my second play. Oh shit! I mean, if y'all want to tussle, we can. Just not right now. Holy fuck! Nope. Nope. Not that way. Not that way. <laughs> not that way. Nope. 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 I thought wrong. I thought I was gonna be. Slow. Thought I was gonna swag my way through that. All of them motherfuckers said hell no. So yes, I would rather deal with wolves than ambush, because there's only two wolves and there's a fuck ton of them. Plus, you're low on health. That's free echoes. The combo, though. Oh shit. Oh shit. Don't don't do it. Oh no. Not the corner. They are famous for the fucking corner. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my god. Give me that visceral. Almost got took. 
That was about to be it. I was about to lose all those echoes. I don't even have to go that far because there's another lamp right here. Yo, Jack, what's happening, man? <laughs> Blood Boy scared the absolute shit out of me. I'm pretty sure it took my virginity. How far are you into the game? Because if you're not that far, then you got, buddy. I'm telling you, you're gonna you're gonna keep getting that reaction. It is some. This game has is full of surprises, and even if you play through it the first time, um, I like even if you play through all this shit, you feel like you've seen all. It's gonna keep it's it's gonna keep surprising you. Just wait till you get to the Forbidden Woods, buddy. That's all I gotta say. I just. I don't, I'm, I don't think I can say I beat that area, but I've got through the first part of that area, <laughs> and good fuck, is all I have to say. But th this game is fun. I like this game. I really do. That's so cool. Like, does she fucking bows at you? <laughs> While all these other motherfuckers with their bloodstains have probably tried to attack her and German. And I'm... Even without seeing the gameplay, I'm not even going to try this shit. Especially with... Hell no, not with this character at, at level... What, 19? <laughs> no, I'm, I'll be okay. Not only that, I'm pretty sure if you lose two of the most important characters in the game, you either break the game or you, you dick yourself. So, I'll be just fine. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Ah, the little ones. Inhabitants of the dream. They find hunters like yourself. Worship and serve them. Speak words they do not. But still, are they sweet? The doll is tall. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Given that your character in the game is probably now shut your eyes. somewhere in between 5'7 and 5'9, like that doll must be huge in height. Alright. So we beat Gehrman, and we're going for a balance build, so. Literally only got up the ladder in the first area, so you're around Central Yarnum then. <laughs> the fucking wolf in the beginning. I kept trying to fight it. Bad idea. I couldn't figure out how to equip my axe for the longest time, and I started with the worthless snaps. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so you didn't have shit. Wow. Yeah, this game, this game gets nuts, man. And you're in the first area? I did kill the wolf though, yeah. No, in the beginning, in the very beginning, you're supposed to supposed to fight that wolf. It, whatever happened was intentional. It was the game's direction. But yeah, if you're if you're just if you're just in central Yarnum, man, you you're not even. I'm trying to I'm trying to think. To what's a good spot uh, while I'm doing this leveling? I'm gonna do 
Interesting. Now let's get this stuff up. Yeah, it'll be worth it. If we're going for a balanced build, it'll be worth it. Especially Arcane. We need that discovery so we can keep finding Blood Vials and uh, Quicksilver. But yeah, man, if you're if you're just in Central, you shit, dude. He turned one corner in Yarnum and got fucked by all those enemies. I <laughs> said, nope, and stop recording. Dude, that's not even the worst part. There is, uh, uh, give me a second. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Yes, I appreciate the leveling. Yeah, that's just, you're, you're in central Yarnum. You haven't even hit old Yarnum. When you start, when you get to old, dude, keep playing, keep playing. <laughs> this game is, it, this game is that good. Like this game is on par with old school Resident Evil type good. Even like I, I have the nerve to even say better in some areas. And matter of fact, in a lot of areas, fuck that. Like this game is really good. The jump scares are jump scares don't feel forced. Like they they just they they work. You would have kept going, but you was recorded for a while. <laughs> Play more tomorrow, dude. When you hit old Yarnum. That's a good spot. Old Yarnum is a good spot. Uh, the Forbidden Woods is another good spot. And I'm trying to think of another good spot where there's some, there's like a lot of surprises or jump scares. Uh, oh, the uh, the unseen. What was it? The unseen city? Is that what it's called? It's like the. Uh, what is it? I don't have it in this one. Um. The Unseen Village. That's what it's called. Yeah. So, Old Yarnum. And the Unseen Village. And the Forbidden Woods. And Forbidden Woods is the farthest that I have. I'm at, I'm at the Forbidden Grave site right now. Because I, I just beat the Shadows of Yarnum. On my other save. But, it, it gets good. Trust me. Keep playing. It's gonna take. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. It's going, it is going to take a while to uh, get used to like the mechanics and the system of this game because it's all brand new, especially with most games I'm used to for attacking, uh, pressing X square circle, well of course you can't map the buttons, but uh, usually on games like this where there's new controls, I try to play with the new controls just to see what it's like from a, a different perspective and experience. But I, I had learned, like, especially in this save, I, <laughs> it took me a while to get past Gascoigne. It took, actually, the Cleric Beast was kind of simple. The Cleric Beast was kind of simple, and it had me fooled because I was like, okay, if all the bosses are going to be like this, it's going to be a cakewalk. And then I get to the, uh, I get the Gascoigne, and then I get to the Blood Starved Beast. <laughs> But it took me four hours for one boss. Somebody even came. Somebody even came in a goddamn chat, uh, and it was like, "Yo, you need me to beat this boss for you because you've been on this for four hours." And I was like, "Fuck no, I'm gonna do this shit myself, bro." I was on a, I was on one boss for four hours. It's, it's, this is that type of game. This is that type of game. Where is uh Where's German? I'm supposed to be able to talk to him. We need him for the lore and the story. And I can't open that door yet, so... Shit. Well, I guess we just keep pressing forward, then. It took you an hour to kill the wolf and find the ladder? <laughs> oh, wow. No, nah, bro, you, you trust me. You don't have me beat. That, that's... Just, just get to the bosses, man. Just get to at least the first boss. At least the first or second bosses. That's, a, that's when shit starts getting crazy. You're, you're doing good. I will say that. 
if if that's all for the first part of the game, you're doing good. <laughs> I'm being I'm being real. You are doing good. Old Yarnum is no joke. So we're gonna. I, I don't think we can. I don't think we can spin anything. Yeah, we're gonna farm those. So I... Okay. All right. So we dilly dally enough. Let's get back into this. Uh, tomb of Eodin. You kept running past the ladder like, what the fuck, where do I go? That happens. That ha Sometimes you have to go back, which actually you will be doing. If, if you plan to play this game long term, you'll be doing that a lot. You'll run past areas and you won't see, th see, see things like ladders or uh, like hidden pieces of paper on the ground that you're supposed to read for the lore or items. And then you'll go back to that level and you'll be like, how the fuck did I miss this? That happens. That, that, that still happens to me. I'll say I'm a good one fourth into the game, as far as like uh, progression, and it, it, that's still happening to me, and it, it all is intentional. Like, and that's what makes this game good because that adds replay value, which means you have to go back and you have to find the stuff, little things that you missed inside of the game. Like this, God damn, I can't tell if that is no, those are rocks. I was about to fucking say the, this area here looked like a, <laughs> it looked like a, a, a dis, dismembered person for a second, but that that's what these are. Or supposed to be. Alright, let's move on. Speaking of old Yarnum, we are holy shit. We're already to the Odin Chapel. I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll, we'll wait till we get there to, to say that. But yeah, we're we're here. Do not let this playthrough that I'm doing right now fool you. It took me. It, it did take me hours to even get this damn far. Let's read this. The Bergenworth spider hides all manner of rituals and keeps our lost master from us. A terrible shame. It makes my head shudder uncontrollably. The Bergenworth is one of the areas in the game that you're supposed to get to. Which... I think... The Forbidden Woods is like a, a part of Bergenworth. If it's not, then I've yet to reach Bergenworth. But, um... As far as like the Bergenworth spider and its significance towards the lore, I've I've yet to find any of that out as well. So we'll just have to keep moving. One thing I am glad for in this game is that there are so far no mimic chests like Dark Souls. That is a good thing. Now we're at the Cathedral Ward, which is properly Odin Chapel. Let me like this. Hmm? Oh, 
You must be a hunter. Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside. Waiting for it to end. It always does. Always has, you know. Since forever. But it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going bad. Screams of women folk. The stench of blood. The snarls of beasts. None of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, I tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> So Erden Chapel is as this character. I don't. He didn't. St he never stated his name. His character didn't state the na his name. Uh, that's one thing I do wish uh, for the main game is that there was like some kind of uh, book or uh, would it be encyclopedia for like the the beast and the characters inside of the game that don't like state the names other than the bosses that you see on the screen and things like that like for instance the doll her name is just doll and this character here we don't even know its character it's just the odin chapel creature i'm gonna call him because he <laughs> he doesn't look human but um as i was saying odin chapel is a safe haven uh this is actually one of the places in the game other than the other places surrounded by the lamps that the beast can't get into like outside of these walls here there are other beasts and things <laughs> that prance about and like if I were to go out there and then come back in here they would they cannot come in here to chase me which is pretty neat if you try to save your butt from losing all your your echoes but Jack said, I felt like I have to increase the brightness. My commentary was deaf awkward, but I'll improve it. I'll probably edit it and upload it tomorrow. I had the sound playing directly in my ears through my headphones, so my early jump scares really got me good. Oh, man. You got the full experience then. You got, well, other than the brightness. You, you should, if you want the full, full experience, turn the brightness down. My, what's my brightness on? Let me make sure. I'm not bullshit. Oh, I got to turn mine down. No, mine is down. Mine is good, right? Or no? Oh, it should be good, right? That's about as... Yeah, that's about as unbright as it's gonna get. For me, at least. I don't know, I don't, I don't know what y'all see on Twitch. It's, it's always weird with, with like recording the game and then not recording the game. Um, Sometimes the screen resolution and the brightness and things change on my end and on the computer end. So I, I don't know what you guys see. But anyway, uh, just, a, just in case, just in case, just in case. Okay, yeah. Then you got the full experience. We're going we're gonna to find some shit to battle. This is where it gets juicy. So yeah, with the brightness down, and you got the headphones. How did you s <laughs> The brightness down, the headphones, and the jump scares in this game. Yeah, you're doing it right. You're doing it just right. Okay, I gotta watch out for this spot here. I got fucked last time.
<laughs> that's what all those blood stains are. <laughs> just a bunch of just everybody made the same mistake I did. It would have been funny uh, if it was on my first run through, cause it's, un it's supposed to be unexpected. But anyway, let's rock. Hold on, let's see what that stuff looks like on you. Let's get into the church first. Uh, we don't want no surprises. Let's see what you look like with this on. Top hat. Nah. Uh, hunter garb. Oh, this is without the cape. Okay. Still looks sassy. Hunter gloves. Same th same deal. It's just without the cape. This one's without the cape. The other one had the cape. Okay. Yeah. So. That's right. Speaking of old Yarnum, that is exactly where we're headed right now. God, no, fuck that. Precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred, protege of Master Ligarius, hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? Oh, 
Very good. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. There must be oodles for us to share. Go on. Just tell me what piques your interest. Talk about the healing church because that pale blood or the rumored pale blood is to be. As you know, the healing church is the fountainhead of blood healing. Well, I'm a simple hunter quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution. But I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral and that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. Talk about Bergenworth. We'll try and learn more about the Bergenworth spider. Bergenworth is an old place of learning. And the tomb of the gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood abandoned and decrepit and furthermore oh shit has declared bergenworth forbidden ground it's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate so this means this is this is good for me on my other scene because that means to getting to bergenworth bergenworth is I was talking about the Forbidden Wood earlier, which is one of the, uh, Pat, beyond all of this, is one of the, like, most vast areas inside of this game. And so Ber Bergenworth is past all that. I just beat the boss of the Forbidden Wood, so I think I'm close to reaching Bergenworth. So we'll have to, I'll have to see on my other save, but for this, we'll have, to, for this save, we'll just have to keep going with the story and... Find out. Well, it has been a pleasure. May the good blood guide your way. All right, and that's all for him. More madman's knowledge. Need that. Let me just go ahead and do this. Yeah, like I said before, I can't tell the difference on my screen, but I'm hopefully it's uh the setting is changed. So it looks a little better. Buddy, you dancing today? <laughs> he really is trying to dodge. He doesn't usually do this. More madman's knowledge. Need that. I do believe I was told once you get past... 14 insight on the game that's when uh things start looking different as far as the enemies and the world around you
Yeah, they, that's one thing I kept saying to myself when playing on my other save is that the atmosphere in this game is top notch. Shit, no, 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 not here, not here, not here, pal. Not here, pal. Fuck that. Oh, yeah, we're going to need... Okay, we already got it set up. I'm about to say, we're going to need those coming up. This town is long abandoned. Hunters not wanted here. Let's open the door anyway. So now we're in Old Yarnum, and this is the town that that note was talking about, um, where the healing church uh, left it left it all burn. And this is a, this is a city beneath another city, if I'm correct. Yes, I should be correct about that. This is another part of Yarnum, but I think. Uh, I think this is what we'll, we'll end the gameplay for today. I think this is what we'll end the stream. I'm going to go to, back to the Hunter's Dream. So that way the game can auto-save. We can save. Did I really miss that over there? Hold on. See, this is what I'm talking about. You, you can miss stuff. And it's, it, it's really nothing. The Blood Cocktail, I rarely use those. Jack X, have I seen JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Uh, I, I've watched clips of it. I haven't really seen it. Oh yeah, this game looks amazing. Your worst enemy is going to return. Who is this? Or JoJo's? And the Victoria-esque arrow. 
look the world has and the atmosphere just blend really well together. Yes, they do. I, that, that's one of the things I enjoy about this and the costumes. Oh, you talking about the wolf inside of the game. Yeah, you, you're going to see a lot of those, especially old Yarnum. You thought that. Oh, you talking about like when I the one I just fought. Oh, buddy. <laughs> buddy, wait till you get to old Yarnum. I promise. And you love how all the locations loop back. Dude, I there's that I will say. Before we ride out of this thing, let me put these away. Anymore. We'll we'll chill. I, I love the costumes in this game and the way everything looks like like you said, it, it all blends together. Like it is so badass. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like, this game is worth a lot more than the sale that they had this for. But I'm grateful that they, like, for the sale the that it was under. But um, as far as, like, the locations looping back, I like that aspect about it, too. I like how everything, the, there is... Like, it's almost like it's, it's one area. There's certain areas where you have to uh, load to and you have to transport to that don't connect. But for the most part, a lot of the game is right there. A lot of the game is like one big map. And it's uh, like, and I thought in my head, it's almost like a Devil May Cry game. Like, you, if you ever play a Devil May Cry game, it's one giant map. Uh, the only difference with Devil May Cry is there's a, there's a hell of a lot more loading than there is this game but uh it's just one giant map that you go to and you have to go and get items and go back and fight bosses and go back and go forward and that's how this is and i was i was even thinking i, I thought to myself this is like be the crazy idea but what if like devil may cry and uh a game like bloodborne fused together where it's like the fighting style and the gameplay of Devil May Cry, so you have the ability to do like more more combos and more moves and things to the enemies, but everything else as far as like the aesthetic and far as like the setting and the way uh, the game and the stages and things like that plays stays the same. That would be that would be cool if something like that happened. If the next Devil May Cry game was like that, that'd be fucking cool. I, I definitely agree with you. This game is is so fucking amazing. I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. And and the thing that's crazy about it is once again I seen gameplay for it. So I shouldn't be like this pumped or I shouldn't be this excited about it. But like seeing it in front of my face and experiencing it for myself, fuck yes. That's that's great. That's great. I'll never get tired of that. Yeah, man. We're gonna. I wonder if I could talk to Grammy again. I have to bow. I can. He's right there. Let's see what he says. The moon is close. It will be a long hunt tonight. If the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits, seek a holy chalice, as every hunter before you has. A holy chalice will reveal the tomb of the gods, where hunters will take in communion. Most of the holy chalices lie deep within the tomb of the gods. And the few that found their way to the surface were lost again in the hands of men. But if the old hunter tales remain true, one of the holy chalices is worshipped in the valley hamlet. Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned. And abandoned for fear of the scourge. Home are now only beasts. 
the perfect place for a hunter, wouldn't you say? And the place he's talking about is Old Yarnum. Just in. One of the holy. Yeah, we heard that. Okay. So yeah, I, I need to. You know what? That's something I need to do on my save. Is I need to uh, do a chalice dungeon. But I need. I, I I should I should start doing that. I should start streaming my save as a separate like just a separate stream not to post on the channel like i do everything else but uh just to like show you guys my progress and stuff like that because it's it's pretty fun it's pretty fucking fun but we're gonna write off this when my character does some contemplating this is this is bloodborne this is the game this is the game. Really surprised by the character customization it was one of the most in-depth I've seen. Yeah, after creating both of my characters, I realized that this is the most in-depth character creation when it's come to like character faces that I have seen. Because at first I was like, okay, this is kind of like bothersome because I feel like they're trying to go for a certain look. But then when you really like get into it like for this character here it took me a while to get like what i wanted from like a female uh bloodborne character Con and in contrast to my male bloodborne character but you sit there and you do it like it, it you can sit there for hours doing this shit and it, it didn't take me hours but it, it took me uh, quite some time to be like okay so you like you can actually if you really wanted to, you put yourself or somebody else you knew in there. So it's cool. But yeah, man, we out of this thing. Um, peace out to everybody that came by the chat and stopped by and said what's up. I really do appreciate that. Y'all already know what it is, man. Boss off. Y'all will be seeing more gameplay of Bloodborne. I do recommend this game to everybody that's out there right now. Uh, hopefully that have ps plus will be able to get this before the uh the period for it being free ends because right now this is free the old hunters you do have to pay for the dlc there was like a short for like a split second i don't even know if it's up now but for like a split second the old hunters dlc dropped down from 15 dollars to like six bucks which is a, a steal compared to how this game was a steal being free with, with your PlayStation Plus. Regardless if you paid uh, $10 or $60 for the, the subscription. So, um, yeah, man, I, I recommend this game to all you guys out there. It's fun. Um, if you like gothic Victorian-esque style uh, aesthetics in games, it, um it's like a lot of jump scares. You like like monster movie type shit, like old old school monster movie type shit. This is definitely for you. I I I recommend this to a lot of people. To all my all my subs out there, go try it for yourselves, and y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comment box down below. Other than that, there's nothing much more to say. No more updates. I'm out this bitch. Y'all already know what it is, man. Boss golf streaming some Bloodborne for all you silly motherfuckers out there. Y'all already know what to do. Make sure I keep them shlongs long, them clips tight. Hey, man, I'll see all you silly hoes on the flip one. Peace! Peace out, Jack, and everybody else in the chat, man. Hope y'all have a rest of your, uh, good rest of your night and uh, good rest of your week and, and month as well, man. Y'all keep doing y'all shit. I'll definitely let y'all know when I'm streaming again.